Hi, my name is Ahmed Oilor. In this video, I'll share with you another step-by-step -step guide on how you can use Power BI online service without having a work or school email. And for this, we are going to be signing up for a free trial of Microsoft Intune Suite. I'll have the link to this in the descriptions and comments of this video. Quick one before I proceed. I have some excellent training resources that come with certificates of completion and are also free on training.foresightbi.com.ng. I'll have the link to this also in the descriptions below. So back to signing up for a free trial of Microsoft in Tune. So on this page, I'm going to come to click on try Microsoft in Tune Suite for free. Then it brings me to the sign up page and I need to complete a security puzzle first. So I'll click on next and I'm going to complete whatever task is assigned to me. So in this case, I'm supposed to select the images with two identical objects. And I think that has to be this. Then it brings me up to this page and it requires me to provide my work or school email address. But you know what? Don't worry about that. You are just going to use our personal email accounts here. We can make use of Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Outlook or whatever other personal email accounts that you have. So I'll come in here and I'm going to provide my own personal Gmail account. Then I'm going to click on next. So here it says, looks like you need to create a new account. Let's get you started. And I'll click on the button for set up account. And on this page, I'll provide my personal details. For company name, you can make use of any fictitious name. It doesn't have to be a real company. So for me, I'll just make use of Lagos, Nigeria. Then I can also complete the other details below it. Once I have completed all the sections above, I will come here to click on next. Then I'm going to try to complete the security check. And here you can encounter some issues. And if you encounter any issues here, just feel free to switch between the text me option and the call me option. And if you also have a different mobile number, also feel free to switch to a different mobile number. Another thing you can also do if you encounter issues here is to switch your internet network provider to a different internet network provider. So I'm going to select the call me option and I will click on send verification code. Once I have my code complete, I'm going to click on verify. Then it brings up my username as Ahmed Oilor at Lagos Nigeria dot on Microsoft dot com. You can actually customize this domain name. You can also customize the username as well. If you do that, remember to click on the save link here. So I'll go ahead to provide my password. I'll create a new password essentially. Once that is complete, I'll go ahead to click on next and I'll simply wait for the account creation to be complete. Once that is complete, I should take note of my email, which is Ahmed Oilor at Lagos Nigeria dot on Microsoft dot com. You can also click to save or to print this. All you have to do is commit this email to memory and also not to forget your password. So I'm going to go ahead to click on this start using Microsoft Intune Suite trial. I'm going to select my new account from there or I can simply just log into that. And that's it. You can now go ahead to sign into powerbi.com. On the sign in page, we are going to select our new account or provide the new account details. Again, I'm going to solve this security puzzle. This is also for two identical objects. I think that's it right there. Then I'm going to provide that same email address Ahmed Oyelowo at Lagos Nigeria dot on Microsoft dot com. I'll click on next and it says, looks like you're already a Microsoft customer sign in as this to get a Microsoft fabric free with your account. I'm going to click on sign in and then I'll also complete these details. Then I can scroll down and select get started. Thanks for signing up for Microsoft fabric free. You're welcome. I'll select get started and it should log me into Power BI online service. And that's it for this video. If this method works for you, kindly comment in the comment section. If you encounter any challenges, also provide a comment so I can see how to assist you further.